Hello guys, this is Ishram Ketty. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to see how to triple boot Kali Linux alongside Ubuntu on Windows. Let's begin. Okay, we have a pre-installed uh, dual booted system with Ubuntu on Windows here. I have already done a video on how to dual boot Ubuntu on Windows. I'll put the link in the description below. You can check out that video. Okay, before we start the process, we need some files. So let's go to Kali.org. Go to the download section. Go to download Kali Linux. Okay, you can download the ISO file directly from here, whichever you want. Uh, the first two are for the systems. Click on download. The download will start. Uh, I have already downloaded the file. This is the file, it's around 2.14 GB. Okay, you need uh, another tool called Rufus. I'll put the link in the description. You can go and download there. Uh, it's a tool for creating uh, bootable USB pen drive. Run it. Select your pen drive. Select the partition type. If you are dealing with UFI, select GPD partition scheme for UFI. If it's for legacy, select the first option. Okay, uh, select the ISO file here. Click on start. Uh, the process can take up to 15 minutes. I'll skip to the end, we'll continue from there. Okay guys, we are back. Uh, the process isn't completed. So close this window. Uh, if you are using a UEFI system, you need to make some changes in the pen drive. Because uh, uh, the don ISO you have downloaded from Cardinals does not support UEFI. So you can see the pen drive here. You need to add a folder here. I'll uh, put the download uh, uh, link for the folder in the description. Just go there and download the folder. It's like this. It's UFI, EFI, boot. And you should have these four files. I'll put the download link. Copy this folder. Go to the pen drive. Paste it here. Okay, you can see it here. Now this is compatible with uh, booting in UFI systems. Okay, after this process, we need to allocate some space for Kali Linux. So, right click on the Windows icon, go to Disk Management. Uh, if you are following my previous videos, uh, you would have known that uh, I have installed Ubuntu here in this partition. This is the four partitions of Ubuntu. Now in the remaining unallocated space, I am going to install uh, Kali. If not, you can uh, unallocate new space here. Check out my old video, you will get it there. Okay, you can now reboot your uh, boot menu. Uh, we will get back there. Okay guys, uh, we are in the boot menu, go and select the pen drive, okay, uh, here have, you have to select uh, Kali graphical install, disable secure boot if you are not, okay, select a language, it's English, click on continue. Uh, then select the country, I am in India. Okay, language, I will select American English. Okay, 
click on now then continue okay you can uh, connect your uh, wifi network after entering the password you will get into this menu Okay, select a name click on continue you can uh, give a domain name or you can leave it empty I'll give it as curious click on continue you have to give a password Click on continue. Okay, this is the important part. Go to uh, the disk partition type uh, you can do it manually click on manual then continue ok uh, check out the free space this is the 104.7 GB free space we have allocated there click on it double click on it create a new partition uh, give your end sorry sorry about that ok give your end 10 GB of uh, space for uh, swap area click on continue beginning use as double click swap area click on continue then click on continue sorry uh, click on continue then setting up the partition okay we have the swap area here go to free space again double click on it create a new partition uh, here uh, give around 5 MB for uh, reserved bias put area click on continue beginning use as double click reserved bias put area done setting up the partition ok go to the free space again double click on it create a new partition I will allocate around 50 GB for the mount point. So 50 GB. Click on continue. Beginning. It's already selected as mount point. So just click on done setting up the partition. The remaining space, the remaining space, I'll use it as the home drive. Double click on it. Create a new partition. Continue. Use as home. It's already modded as home. So just click on done setting up the partition. Okay, I have the four partitions here. Now finish partitioning and right change this. Okay, click on yes. Okay, it's installing the system now. It will take uh, quite a long time. I'll cut to the end. Uh, we'll continue from there. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, the installation has been complete. Uh, during the installation, it can ask uh, you to update the system if you're connected to your Wi-Fi network. So click on S and uh, it will update there itself. Uh, then uh, it will complete the installation. So click on continue now. Ok 
Okay guys, we are in the grub menu. Uh, go and select Cardinal Linux. Click on continue. Okay guys, we have successfully put it into Cardinal Linux. Just enter the username. That's default for all the users. It's root or double OT. Enter it. Enter the password that you gave later. Click on sign in. Okay guys, the installation has been complete. Uh, in my further videos, I'll be using this OS for uh, demonstrating uh, how to hack Wi-Fi network using Cardinal Lakes. So please do install this OS. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.